Hey, aloha kako. I'm telling you, the chickens, okay? The chickens. Don't well, tell me I didn't warn y'all from the first video. And if you haven't watched that, then maybe you should. We're getting ready for a graduation party. Poo poo start at 5.30. The actual party, the main course itself starts at 6 and pow at 9. I wanted to kiwi kio, but make it a uh, get ready with me slash 10 things you need to know about graduation and graduation parties in Hawaii. I texted my Kane and my BFF from Oahu, both Kumu, Makapuna Naleo, 10 things to know for graduation in Hawaii. Go. They've come up with a few pretty good mana'o. <laughs> I'm LOLing, okay? I don't know if this is a tag that someone's already done, but if it is, kalamai. E ho'omaka kako. So I pull out our moisturizer, I prep the skin, all of that stuff is done. It's been setting for a little while now, so it's ready to go. It is go time. People, now we're gonna go in with primer. The first thing, oh god, this is gonna be so hard. How do they do this? The first and foremost, I'm telling you right now, you clearly are not from Hawaii if you don't know this already. Lays. Lays on lays on lays, okay? Whatever type of lay. Flower lay, money lay, candy lay. You can make the simple kind, preferably the kind that they make with money. Orchid lays are really popular. The basic purple and keo keo ones. Those are the ones that you see most common. People get fancy with lays, okay? I mean, I've seen some lays over the years. Like, sheesh, making a lay or you making one paula'i or something. It's a tale as old as time, the tradition of lay in Hawaii for graduation. The graduates get laid, laid on laid on laid, and I'm talking about stack stack to the top to the very very top you can't even breathe you can't even see i mean it's to the point where people actually have to push down the lay and then kiss you on the cheek and there's no excuse i mean you can bring a card now i'm talking about to the actual graduation ceremony itself graduation parties is another subject but people bring lays to graduation parties too because they're laid up all the time graduates are always just stacked but the actual graduation ceremony itself when they walk and they have the cap and the gown and all that kind of stuff that's when Lay. Graduates ain't got no time for cards. They ain't got no time for floaties. Now, floaties is exceptional. The only thing is, you better hope your parents are gonna be okay with taking that stuff home because you know you cannot take that stuff to Project Grand. Preferably, lays. Lays stick to lays because it's easy. You just boom, kiss, you're gone. That's it. That's all graduates have time for. That's all the family has time for. Take a pic, take a selfie, move along. Ho'omo. Okay? And most of the time, people who do go to graduation ceremonies know more than one person that's graduating. So you gotta move. I mean, and if you're talking about now, I was just in Oahu the other weekend with my girlfriend. Her Kane had graduated with his bachelor's degree from University of Hawaii at Manoa. We were outside. It was good having it outside because you could move around and you had space. But even the area that was outside, it was still small. You could only move so much. But if you're a Kamehameha graduate, if you're familiar with Kamehameha graduate ceremonies, you are, I mean, you're cool. You're in this lumi and there is no movement whatsoever. I mean, the room is pretty big itself, but that's what I'm saying. If you're just coming for your daughter or your son, you can just lay them and pow. But if you know more than one graduate and you're moving throughout the room, you gotta be on it. You gotta move because if the graduate is leaving for project grad, when I graduated, the bus was there, I mean, so quick. I mean, it didn't even make sense to even put the lay on because you have to take it all off and you can't take any of that stuff with you to project grad. But it's just for the fun of it. And it's so fun. It's exhilarating. You're graduating. You're done. And you're getting ready to go to Project Grad. But don't forget. Lays. Now, this is a list that I haven't planned. And I'm just kind of making off off the top of my head about my experiences in graduation. And my Kane and my girlfriend's graduation experiences. So, if there are any more Puka Kula graduation experiences that you have that I need to know or that we need to know comment down below the second thing to remember especially if you have a graduate through your keiki or your ohana make a sign please i need to move make a sign make a sign with their face on it blow their face up on the sign you don't even need their name just blow their face up put it on a six foot pole stick that baby up in the air so people can see where you are that's 
probably the most tiresome thing, not tiresome, but it just takes forever trying to find a graduate if you don't know where they are. Now in Hawaii, they have signs with the first letter of your last name standing up already in the building just to help you figure out where your person is. But even in that, there's so many students. So that's what the sign with their picture and their name up in the air is for. To easily find them and locate them and say, boom that's where i need to go that's the direction and i need to walk not walking all over the place trying to find you know make a sign if you can it doesn't even have to be anything fancy people get fancy mines was sort of kind of fancy but mines i did <laughs> mines i didn't have a lot oh i didn't have a stick so we just had to plaster it up on one of the pillars in the blaisdell hall and just hope that everybody could see it it was okay it was fine people found it people found me Ooh, corrector corrector Ooh, no, the third thing portable chargers i'm telling you right now portable chargers girl you are not gonna have time to be plugging in your phone with the wire trying to find an outlet in neil blaisdell you're not gonna have that kind of time especially and this one is for the graduates too especially you guys because i know that's one thing that i had in handy when i went to project grad at least was i able to take i don't think we were supposed to take our phone Okay, forget what I said. Portable chargers are gonna save your life. You just have to have portable chargers, period. Well, especially for graduation because times like that are never gonna happen again, you know, unless you stay in school forever, which, <laughs> bless God. Number four. Now we're gonna get into the graduation party part of all of this, okay? Because what is graduation? If there aren't any graduation parties. Guys, this is really hard. Whew. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing, specifically for graduation parties and ohanas who are making graduation parties or preparing graduation parties. And I don't want to sound mean, but please don't be stingy on the poo poo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been to a few that have had excellent poo poo lineups. And then I've been to a few where the dessert was better than the poo poos and that is never the case people come more for the poo poo than they do the actual food i mean forget the little pig if there's opihi on the table honey i'm there okay forget it i would take a little cup of opihi over a half pan of kalua pig any day it's just me so don't be stingy come on i mean i know you take enough you know if you're actually getting it yourself and you want to be mindful you know us hawaiians you never take more than you need come on it's just a given and there's only so much that you can take i understand because we don't want to be over excessive and waste but oh I will have a word with the person who would ever waste opihi. I am sorry. No, I'm not. Sorry, did the camera move? But it is true. Ask any local person. The poo poo line. Oh, forget it. People be coming for the poo poo more than they coming for the main course. <laughs> That's just the truth, okay? Because it's so oh no, not everybody can eat opihi and aama and poke and squid and oh every day. Oh, eel. Not everybody can eat that every day. So of course everyone's gonna be taking it like crazy and hopefully not wasting. I like plenty of poo poo. <laughs> Color my my camera's been moving everywhere. People's been trying to call me and I'm trying to film. Color my Hello e Lima number five. Please let Kupuna and Keiki go first in the line. Okay, come on now. I mean, that should just be a given. I be going to parties. Kane are going first. I understand, you know. If it's the guys in the kitchen, if they're the makua or whatever, they're fine. But young teenage guys? Oh, come on now. Come on. No. If you're Ohana, totally understandable. That's not for me to say. But if you're just coming to the party and you're just rolling... Oh, seriously? No class. No ho'ihi. Rude. Just plain rude. And I've seen that quite a few times. I just went to my first one yesterday. But the po'ayapili was totally different. The lahui was totally different. But if you're po'e Hawaii, come on now. Actually, your kupuna shouldn't even be standing in line. People should be serving them. They should be sitting down close to the food. But they shouldn't have to be getting up to go anywhere. They shouldn't even have to be getting up to get their own water. That's just how I was raised to malama kupuna. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has to malama kupuna and keki. And that's enough of that. Number six. Kane says try to avoid wearing white because you know you automatically go get squid luau on top of them. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Not gonna object to that. And Makana responds to that, wear stretchy pants. Girl, that's number six right there. Wear stretchy pants. Wear loose shirts. Don't even try to be rolling up to these parties in high heels, honey. Don't even try to be rolling up in these parties with bodycon dresses and trying to make yourself look cute. Oh, and you can try. But you know by the time you walk out of that paina, someone's gonna have an old pool. Where you didn't have one, you will have one. It's just the truth. I don't know who I was telling the other day. No, it was just last night at our neighbor's graduate.
Kit's graduation party. We were talking about what kind of food that Ohana went prepare for the party. And then we got into this conversation about summer. And so I go, bruh, you know Hawaiians ain't got no time to prepare for no summer body goals, okay? You see, everybody be trying to get ready for summer body goals, summer body goals, summer body ready. Not Hawaiians, not locals. We have no time to get summer body ready. I feel like locals have to map out and plan out the parties that they have in been. <laughs> Because there's just so much, there's so many parties. The summer party's gonna go out the window as soon as your first graduation party is over. Number seven, book your local bands early. That is true. Good suggestion, Makana. I know people have a really hard time booking local bands because everybody just wants them. They have to be so many places at once for so many different parties. Be mindful, book them early. And make sure you malama them because I've been to some parties where they don't even give them water. One grad party I went to, oh my gosh, they even forgot to make them plates after they was performed. They never even have fun. That was a bad experience. I wanted to give them my plate, but the cola was too good. <laughs> Just give me a minute while I try to get my life together and do these eyebrows. Sorry, I gotta take a little break because my eyes are watery and I can't talk and do this at the same time. All right, we're getting there somewhere, hopefully. Eyeballs time. Okay, now that the brows are done, I'm sorry it took forever. The brows always take forever. Number eight, a graduation party is just not a graduation party if you do not have a disco. You have to have a disco. At least that's what it used to be when I was in high school. But I've been to some pretty litty graduation partinas, discos all the time. And I love it. And it cannot be a disco without the electric slide. I mean, you might as well just pack up and go home if you don't play the electric slide at your disco. What am I doing? I have no idea. Wow, okay. Number nine, as we finish up this eye look that I have no idea whatsoever what I'm doing. Tried and true. Try and true. We're gonna go neutral tonight. You know, you don't wanna be booming at these grad parties because the focus is on the graduate and you wanna be respectful and mindful. Nah. Number nine, I'm gonna say, you know you're gonna have to make an extra plate, okay? Make sure you get that foil. You know what I'm talking about? That's why the secret is when you're in line, when you first go in line, two plates, two plates all the time. One in one hand, one in the other. Ah. And number 10, don't run away so fast when it's time to clean up. <laughs> Stay help, Kokua, you know? I mean, gee. I always mahalo the people who always stay behind. I mean, obviously you can leave whenever the heck you want, but if you stay to the very end or if you're waiting, you know, there's a really good band coming up, you wanna hear them play music, and then when they pow play, then you're just like, oh, let's hurry up, let's leave. That's not cool. Hello, my, I skipped so far ahead because I have to concentrate when I'm doing my eyeshadow. But number 10, help Kokua stay after just ask where they need help fold the tables fold the chairs because we all know okay so i'm gonna go finish my eyes and all my face stuff off camera because i need to whip through this it's already 5 30 the sun's going down the light is changing the challenge is done though but we gotta move here we go last step Okay guys, this is it. I'm gonna lower the camera down a little bit. You guys mind? Oya valeno. Mahalo ikeo hui anao kako. How do you guys like the glow up? It's crazy, huh? Really crazy what makeup can do. So I hope you enjoyed these 10 things to know during graduation season in Hawaii. Mahalo nui to my kane and my BFF makana from Oahu for the tips and the suggestions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a laugh. And like I said before, if you have any more suggestions of what to know or what to be aware of, of Kiko Kiko Vaihoi Manao in the comment section down below. Click the like, click the dislike, subscribe, don't subscribe. Hope you were entertained. Baggy shirt, girls. Mahalo nui. Thank you for watching. I actually touched my lips, just to let you know. Coming along, coming along. She's pal. Here we go. Here's another one. Oh, where is this coming from? All right, Mega G, I see you with your corn rolls. Oh. Behind hit three, two, and oh my my <laughs> naughty naughty no I don't know why I thought this was gonna be fast.